Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, The Chief, AKA The Chef, AKA Mr. Pay to Win, bringing you another amazing guide inside of Brawl Stars, where today we're gonna be checking out Pam, who is one of the best brawlers inside of the entire game right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how to pick up some easy wins, specifically inside of, inside of both Gem Grab and Showdown. Now, Pam, she's an absolute beast. Now, Pam can attack you from long range. She does so much damage at short range. She has a ton of HP. Her super is a healing totem and her star power really isn't all that great, but Pam's an all-in-one package that dominates inside of Gem Grab, Showdown, and she's really playable inside of every other single mode inside of the game. Now for a quick look at Pam, you can see basically everything that I talked about. Now one thing is her star power. It heals you a little bit, but for 30 HP every time you heal someone, honestly, I think this is one of the least impactful star powers inside of the entire game. So if you guys don't have a maxed out Pam, it's completely okay. But the amount of damage that she does right now for how much HP she has makes her one of the best brawlers inside of, of Brawl Stars, period. All right, let's go and get into a showdown match right now. Now, not only for her healing totem, one of my favorite things to do with it is you can obviously heal yourself up using it but you can use it as a uh, as a beautiful uh, defense as well looks like we got a bow right here who's getting pretty angry he wanted to team up and share those brawl boxes now for this mode actually showdown and this map right here uh, what is this a thousand lakes or something like that it actually has a ridiculous amount of teaming inside of it i'm gonna go ahead and go ham on this leon right here just try to deter him from our cause and i'm just gonna start spamming away on these brawl boxes now pam doing so much damage makes it so easy for her to rip inside of these brawl boxes in fact i'm just gonna avoid this jesse right here i don't even have to worry about okay now i need to actually start dodging her because pam has so so many hit points. Look how much HP I have when I max out right here. I'm over 7,000 HP for what we're trying to get done, and it's not even started. I'm just gonna start blasting our way through this pain. I'm just auto attacking this uh, Jesse to death right here. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my HP. At this point, we're at five power ups, and we've just started off this game. And you can see how much of a bully Pam is. She's an absolute bully. Nice to see this bull right here. By the way, it's sort of silly that. Uh, that you can see over the wall for something like that. Like I said, this mode is really bad for teaming this map specifically. So the only time that I team is if I'm put in a quarter and I need a team to survive, I'll do it. Otherwise, I really hate teaming, especially when people just start up a game and they start sp spinning from moment one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do our thing. This Shelly is a little bit of a troll right here. I don't know what she's trying to do, guys. I'm a Pam. I'm a Pam. You can't mess with a Pam one-on-one -on -one like that. I'll go ahead and pick up another PowerPoint. And at this point, we're one kill away from uh, positive trophies. And we're super close to getting to 500. I forgot to tell you guys, the whole point of this video is not only giving you my best tips and tricks for Pam, but it's hitting 500 trophies inside of the game. All right, now moving onwards right here. We've got a turret from Jesse. I'm gonna go ahead and plop that down right there. It looks like Jesse's pretty upset about what we did to her first turret. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blast down another one right here. Looks like that should be okay. I'm actually gonna draw my healing totem as well. You can see how much of a bully I'm playing Pam like. I'm just trying to stomp my way through all of these people. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this Jesse doesn't heal up right now and to start going in. Wow, she's panicking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blast her down right there. Seeing as we were able to kill that, I can go ahead and just start healing up right here. This crow is gonna be annoying. Hopefully we can fight, find the right angle to where we're just not gonna get poisoned to death. And it looks like that's happened so far. These guys are fighting. Oh no, we're taking too much damage from this crow. We're eating crow right now. All right, well, I'm gonna start healing up again. I'm hoping that this, yeah, let these guys fight each other. Oh, we're starting to get poisoned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill that crow and GG will play. Boom, game number one. We're gonna take a first place finish using Pam. And guys, did you see how much of a bully I was that entire game? I was just smacking these brawlers around, not having a single care in the entire world. That's gonna be seven trophies for Pam, and we're already above 500 inside of this video. My fourth brawler to 500 trophies, maybe my fifth, and uh, that's beautiful stuff right there. Taking a look at where we stand. Man, I'm so bad at finding our brawlers now and like what our ranking is. Anyways, 500 trophies officially for Pam and getting that victory. And you can see how strong she is inside of Showdown. Now, not only Showdown, but Pam really shines as a gem carrier inside of Gem Grab. If you guys play Pam, use her to pick up all the gems because you're so tanking and you have so much HP, plus a bunch of damage makes her the best gem carrier inside of the entire game right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick this off. Not only do we do a ton of damage, our turret and our totem is gonna end up healing our teammates. Pam is just ridiculously good right now. And I was super Super surprised when Supercell buffed Pam in the most recent set of balancing changes. I thought she was already so strong. And you can see from the pro community when the balance changes were announced, the number one thing people keyed on was the fact that Pam uh, didn't get any changes. So let me show it off inside of, inside of Gem Grab. This map is actually pretty good for Pam. You have a decent amount of uh, range that you can use to start picking up some stuff. Looks like I'm gonna be the tanky person and we've got uh, both uh, Shelly, not Shelly, sorry, Spike and uh, and Jesse on the side. Gonna go ahead and pick up these two right here. We've got a Penny. Really need to make sure we're not grouping together right now, but so far we've done a pretty poor job of that. I'm just gonna charge up my super. You can see I'm already starting to get some gains. And for 
uh, her, for Pan Star Power, you actually end up um, healing up your teammates as well if they're close to you as you start tickling away at your opponents. All right, so so far we've done some decent work. We've got four gems. I need to be careful about this Leon the farther this map goes. Looks like Leon's going to be able to put in some work right there. Looks like things are getting a little bit difficult as that Leon does have a super. I'm going to go ahead and kill this, uh, kill that guy right there. Ooh, I played my totem too late. Man, I knew that was coming, but I just like fried my brain as I killed that cold. I knew Leon was going in right there. It looks like he's going to be able to charge up his super. That's fine, though. He doesn't have a super now. We do have our Jesse with a fair bit of our gems, which is perfect. That turret is in such a bad position, it's not going to be able to do anything. And let's just go ahead and start healing up right now, collecting some bat more of these bad boys. And uh, let's see if they're... I don't think they're... Leon oh, he has super again? Oh, the only thing more annoying than a Pam is a Leon. Well, if, we, if Pam is one of the best three brawlers in the entire game, you guys already know that Leon is the best. We're going to lose basically all of our gems right there. That is sort of a tragedy for us. Wow, that's actually a really big tragedy for us. All right, looks like this Pam has won. Uh, I need to keep dodging this Colt right here. I'm trying to dodge this Colt. There's one gem in the center right now. It's basically just Leon who we need to take out and getting a little bit more aggressive. We just don't want to be the one to hand over all these gems. Now, Colt's going to go ahead and respawn. Let's go ahead and try to control this map right here. Looks like this... Uh, it looks like that Leon took a really healthy chunk of damage. He's going to start healing up inside of his invisibility. I'm going to stay close together with this Jesse because I know that this Leon's going to want to assassinate us. And it looks like they're going to play their super. Oh, Jesse, what did you do right there? I'm going to be using my turret as a shield. I'm literally just auto-aiming these guys to death. I have 10 gems right now. Wow, this is so close. Get that gem spike, please. I need to heal up. We can't let this Leon take our last gem. Please, Spike, stay alive. Stay we can't let Penny get some splash damage on us either. Looks like we're gonna get a kill. We're at nine gems to nine gems. This is such an intense match. Looks like we're able to get the countdown right here, but keep in mind that this is gonna continue. Oh, look at, Spike's going ham. Spike is going ham. Look at the work being put in right there. Spike has so many gems. Honestly, just Spike and I need to stay alive. Spike and I running for our lives, but guys, this game is over. GG well played, even against Leon, just blowing us up right there. We were able to assert dominance, take, and take control, and that's gonna be GG. Five trophies for that victory right there, guys. Look at Pam as a gem carrier inside of Brawl Stars. So ridiculously good. Well played to my teammates. And that's what I'm talking about for what we wanted to get done. Nice job. All right, let's get into another showdown. Showdown's just honestly so much fun. Feast or Famine, that is not a mode for Pam, guys. I would stay away at all costs. We're actually going to reach 9,300 trophies in Trophy Road and be able to collect some coins. Not bad. All right, let's keep on moving on. I love playing Pam. She's so good. I know I'm biased. Chief Pat, Chief Pam. But she's just ridiculously strong inside of this mode. Again, at close range, you're going to be wanting to use your auto attack and just spam that away uh, while facing your opponents. And from long range, line Pam up, put in some work. And honestly, her, her, the distance that she can shoot is just so strong. I think that Supercell really beefed up by, plant, by giving Pam an HP buff. Honestly, to balance Pam, I love that she has long range. I love that it's spread out in a cone. I think she just has too much HP. The fact that Pam can soak up so much damage and play against a lot of these shotgun brawlers and close range brawlers and find success, I just think isn't really healthy for where Pam sits right now, but we're gonna end up stealing 500 trophies for it. And if you guys are looking for a brawler to max up as soon as possible, I definitely recommend playing Pam. You can play her showdown, you can play her gem grab inside of heist. She's not the best brawler, you could use her defensively. I think that would be her weakest mode. She's okay inside of bounty, especially on certain maps with plenty of walls, to where she's not gonna just get sniped down by the Brocks and, and the Pipers of the world. And then definitely for Brawl Ball, you can play her as well, but especially inside of gem grab and showdown, guys. She's one of the best brawlers in the game, and uh, you really don't wanna mess around with too much else if you don't have to. All right, blowing up this Brawl Box right here. Again, if you hit all of your shots, you'll kill them in two. You'll kill the boxes in two uh, go-arounds if you ever maxed out. Let's continue making our way towards the center. Pam is a brawler you can take into the center and have some fun with. Looks like we've got a Poco right here that I'm going to go ahead and get aggressive with just to make sure we can steal that little uh, power-up. Thank you very much, my friend. And let's see how many people have made their way towards the center. We've got a Tara. Looks like we've got a fellow Pam right here. Looks like there's a lot of spin to win happening right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and push forward onto this Poco. Just trying to charge up our super, to be honest. And we're going to go ahead and take another Brawl Box right here. And that's going to be fine for us. All right, Spike is here. We have another Shelly. Oh, man, I'm dangerously close to having... Does this Pam want to team up with us? Should I try to backstab these guys later? Okay, I'm going to team up and backstab these guys later. We're at nine. Let's see if I can kill this Spike. I'm going to try to get close to this Spike and kill him one-on-one. -on -one. Me and Spike, we're homies, right? Me and Spike are homies. Let's continue doing work. Psych! Psych! All right, guys, that's an easy kill on the Spike right there. Not bad, not bad. All right, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Pam, we're homies, right? We're homies. I'm gonna keep homies with this with this Pam as well. I think this Pam really wants to team with me because Pams probably go really well together because there's so much tankiness. I'm gonna see if I can assassinate her a little bit later on. For right now, I'm gonna try to get down this uh, Poco and this Tara right here. Looks like it's a little bit of a one on two, which is unfortunate. We've got our Pam down bottom, who's we're supposed to be teaming up with. Hmm. 
All right, I want to play this as safe as possible. I'm going to try not to make enemies with this Pam quite yet. I'm just going to keep on just doing work against this Tara and against this Poco. Looks like we've got a spike over here that we can start tagging up for some damage. Trying to heal back up right now. Mm, yeah, this is getting tough. Somehow Piper has now entered the fray right here. And it looks like Spike's going to start healing himself. Interesting move from Spike. I'm going to start blasting him down right here. Can we st Ooh, that's bad for Oh, wait, no, that's not bad for us. That's not bad for us at all. We can go ahead and keep moving forward, Pam. Wow, seven. Seven power-ups on that Tara right there. Okay, I'm going to let these guys start duking it out. Actually, if I can corner this Tara right here, that'll be super good for us. Let's see. That's going to be a lot of damage on that Tara. That's going to be a lot of damage on that Tara. That's going to be a dead Tara. All right, let's go ahead and heal up right now, guys. This is going to be GG well played against this Piper. Going to go ahead and use my turret. <laughs> Look what this Piper's doing. What a savage. He's going to go ahead and do that. And I can just hide behind my turret right here and let this Piper run off into the wilderness. Let her do her thing right now. That's going to be GG well played. That's what I'm talking about for another win inside of Brawl Stars. And guys... It's safe to say that we dominated absolutely everything in sight. I don't even know what to say. Those were three super easy battles right there. Able to get first place in every single one. We only got six trophies for first place. Okay, showdown is definitely not playable above 500 trophies because you lose way more than you win. But if you guys are trying to gain some easy trophies, I definitely recommend playing showdown in the beginning to get your trophy, your brawlers up to 300, maybe 400. And if you guys are really good inside of showdown, you can push up to 500 and maybe a little bit further. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video today with Pam. Make sure uh, that you can use your, well, use your totem efficiently. Sometimes you can use it as a shield for yourself. Take advantage of Pam's range against different long range brawlers. And for those close range brawlers, take care of her, her huge amount of DPS. Obviously for Pam having so much tankiness, don't be scared to get in there and get into a little bit of the action. Now that's gonna do it for this video today. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit that bell and turn on notifications already. Make sure you do. I'm posting a lot of awesome content, including stories to my YouTube story. If you guys have seen inside of the YouTube app, make sure you're hitting all that stuff and show me some love in the comment section below. Like this video with your forehead. And that's gonna do it for this video today. If it was my forehead, it'd be a pretty big like. I don't know about yours. That's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys.